Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon class. So today we are going to do revision for chapter 1 and also chapter 2. So we start with chapter 1. Uh, please look at the question exercise 3 in your study guide. Okay, exercise 3 is about partnership with changes eh, during the year. So previously we have learned eh, a partnership uh, have three different stages. We have introduction stages. Uh, number two, we have changes in partnership. And number three, we have dissolution in partnership. Eh? However, uh, for the uh, partnership, uh, changes uh, in partnership, we have two different time, okay, one is changes at the beginning of the year or at the end of the year and the other one is changes during the year. Okay, um, so uh, for this partnership, okay, uh, we will only test you on the computation part for introduction phase and also uh, change uh, changes in partnership. Okay, uh, as for the dissolution, we only test you on the theoretical one. Eh? Okay, uh, so let us look at the introduction first, eh? introduction phase. Eh? Uh, we start on the introduction phase. Okay, this is the example in question eh? two of your practice kit, eh? introduction of partnership. So introduction of partnership me is the first phase in the partnership. Okay, um, but somehow this is not a favorite question in your test and your final exam, eh? because um, the, the 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 this is not quite challenging lah compared to changes. But somehow we still need to learn because this is the starting point of the partnership. Okay, so let us look this question together. Eh? Introduction of partnership. We will start with the introduction first, eh? then only we go to changes. Eh? Class. Okay. Uh, so the first question. Uh, okay, you have to read the question from the beginning until the end, okay? So the requirement of this question is that you need to prepare the profit appropriation statement, okay? This is the core requirement. You have to prepare the profit appropriation statement followed by the partner's current statement and the partner's capital statement, eh? Okay, that's all, eh? So you are already given the key answer, but let us do together. So first of all, class, when you get the question, okay, you have to identify several information, eh, several key information. We call key information. Eh? One of them is you need to know the, the face. Okay, so in this case, we know the face is at introduction level. So this is question on introduction of partnership. Number two, we need to know the accounting period. Okay, the accounting period. Okay, as for this question, you can straight away find the accounting period based on the question. As you can see, you are required to prepare for the year ended 30 June 2000 year 5. So since your accounting period ends on 30th June 2000, year 5. Therefore, you will start your accounting period from 1st July, year 4. Eh? So this is your accounting period because usually eh, the, the accounting period will be about 12, 12 months. Okay, number three, okay, you need to know the partnership, partnership agreement. So class, uh, whenever you have question on partnership, okay, regardless whether it is introduction, changes, eh, these are the three important or key information that you must be able to extract. Okay, I repeat, number one, the phase of the in partnership, okay, and uh, for this question, we know this is introduction level because I already mentioned it clearly. Okay, number two, the accounting period of the question, and number three, the partnership agreement for the partnership question. Okay, so let us continue 
Okay, by preparing the first answer, that is the profit appropriation statement. Okay, so how to start the profit appropriation statement? Okay, since eh, you are the at the introduction phase, okay, so you don't have the pre and post. Why? Because pre and post is only for change. Changes in partnership, okay, due, during the year, okay. You only have to divide your appropriate appropriation statement to pre and post when you have question for changes in partnership due, during the year. Therefore, your appropriation statement will just plain as this, eh? Okay, so we will start, okay, how do we start? We will start by the title class, Amar Anik, okay, and the full title for the appropriation statement. Eh? First is the name of the partnership business. Next, the title of the statement. So the title will be appropriation statement for the year ended 30 June 2005. So we will start with net profit item. Okay, let us look for the net profit. Okay, based on the question, you can find the information of net profit is at the end of the paragraph. So here we are. Okay. Um, it state that the business net profit for the year ended was 10,652. And this is before charging any interest on loan. Okay, why does it mention this? Okay, let us look at the story. Okay, so um, based on this partnership, we have two partners, Amar Anik. Okay, they are selling chocolate dates. And these are the agreements. Okay, we have agreement here. Okay, the first one is mentioning about the sharing of profit or loss. Number two is about, okay, let us extract. Eh? This is the uh, profit and loss term. Number two is about interest on capital and uh, interest on drawing. Okay. Uh, number three, okay, no partner shall entitle to any remuneration. Okay, uh, look at the next paragraph. Okay, this is the balance for capital accounts and balance for current account. Okay, as at 1st July, meaning this is the opening balance. Eh? This is referring to O. Opening balance. Opening balance is balance brought down. Eh? Opening balance, balance brought down. Eh? Okay, uh, next on 31st December 2004, Ani withdrew business check amounted 2000 to pay his daughter Khalid fees. Okay, um, at the same day, Ani took Two cartons of chocolate dates amounted 600 to be given as personal gift. Okay, this paragraph tells about what? Tells about draw drawings. Eh? This tells about drawings class. So who made the drawing? Amar and Ani. Eh? Both partner make drawing. Eh? Amar made drawing amounted to 2000 while Ani made Drawing amounted to seven uh, six hundred. Okay, we are not um uh, uh, recording this yet. We are looking for any loan. Is there any loan given by partner? Okay, next paragraph on first January two thousand year five, the partnership agreed that Ani would advance. Okay, the keyword here is okay, I'm using different color to show uh, this one. Ani would advance fifteen thousand. To finance the partnership new project sales for Ramadan. Okay, so what does it show here is that we have uh, advanced, eh, advanced um, by the partner. Okay, this shows advanced. What is advanced? Advanced is also known as loan. Given by part partner to 
partnership. Uh, to partnership. Uh, this is advance given by a need to partnership. Okay, next slide. At the end of the accounting period, due to some personal family needs, Ama had withdrawn 5,000 of his capital. Okay, this is different thing. Right, uh, let me use green color. This is different thing. This is not advanced, but Ama took up his, his what? His capital. Ah, there is a reduction in the capital. Okay, let me use um, green color. Okay, so here we have a reduction. Reduction in partners capital. Okay, so who is involved? Amar. Eh? Amar capital. Okay, reduced by how much? Reduced by 5,000. Right, as for Anik just now, he gave loan. So, uh, what does this information tell us that this amount, eh, this amount, 10,652 of net profit, okay, is still gross. Why gross? Because you have not minus for any interest on loan. The question is that, do we have any interest on loan? The answer is yes, because as you can see, Ani, the partner, had advanced 15,000 to partnership. What does it mean? Meaning the partner, Ani, give loan to the partnership. Okay, recall back to chapter one. If partner advance, Okay, loan or give loan to partnership. Even though the partnership agreement did not mention any of the interest to be charged, we have to follow the. Okay, remember what do we need to follow? We need to follow the partnership act. Okay, so if you can recall, the partnership act mentioned that if the partner advance loan to the partnership. So, what does, uh, what is the requirement of the Partnership Act? Section 26 of Partnership Act mentioned that, mentioned that what? You still remember? Any advance or loan extended by the partner are entitled of what? 8% interest per annum. Okay, so we have to calculate 8% by default. The class? Okay, even though it's not mentioned by the Partnership Act, we use Section 26, okay, where advance from partner will be charged at interest on loan by 8% per annum. So what you need to do is that you have to calculate for the interest. So this is how we do. Okay, so the net profit, okay, this amount, uh, 600, six, uh, sorry, 10,650, okay, we minus the interest on loan first. So how to find the interest rate? We follow section 26, even though financial agreement did not mention, but according to section 26, okay, any advance or loan given by the partner is entitled for 8% per annum. So times with the loan. Okay, this is the amount of the loan. And since eh, the loan is started on um, January 2000 year 5, okay, therefore we have to prorate the, uh, the, the interest. Okay, so let us look. The, uh, the accounting period, as we learned just now, we start on 1st July year 4 until okay, 30th June year 5. The borrowing, sorry, the loan started somewhere here on 1st 
January year 5. Therefore, we have to calculate for the interest on loan starting from this date. So, 8% times with 15,000. Okay. And you have to prorate. So, January to June. Okay. January to June, you will have 6 months over 12 because 8% is per annum. Right? So, the amount of interest to be charged is how much? So, you will times with the amount. Is equal to 600 ringgit. Eh? You may calculate by yourself. 8%, okay? Times with. Okay. 15,000. Okay, you got 1,200, right? And you prorate to 6 over 12. So, you will get. 600 ringgit. So what you need to do, this 10,650, okay, minus 600. So you minus 600, okay, and you will get 10,052 ringgit. Right? So recall in chapter 1, interest on loan uh, by the partner is to be charged at 8% if the agreement does not mention about the rate. And the treatment for interest on loan is to be charged again the net profit before you record for the rest. Okay, let's move on. We have we have complete on uh, the adjusted net profit. So this net profit is to be adjusted if you have interest on loan. Okay, next. Uh, we have to add for any interest on drawing. Do you have any interest on drawing? Yes. Based on the agreement, we have interest on drawing of 6% per annum. Do we have drawing? Yes, we have drawing here. Okay, so who made the drawing? Amar and Anik. Let us calculate for the interest on drawing based on the date. Okay, mentioned here. So... It's very important for you to identify eh, accounting period because you can see eh, the significance here when you want to calculate for any in interest. Okay, so we start with Amar first. Okay, we go for Amar. Amar, the amount of drawing is 2,000. Okay, how do we know? Based on the question just now, we already identified the drawing. 200 times the interest on drawing, 6%, and you have to prorate. Why do you have to prorate a rate? Because the each, uh, the drawing is made on 30th December 2000 year 4. Okay, somewhere here. Okay, I'm using different color. Okay, just now. Uh, just now we calculate for interest on loan, right? So now we are going to calculate on interest. Okay, in, in somewhere here lah. In somewhere here. Okay, on 30th December year 4, right? So more or less the same. It's just one day left. Eh? So now we are going to calculate interest on draw. So from 30th December to the 30th June 2005, we take similar about six months. Right? So this is the amount for interest on drawing charge to Amar and interest on drawing charge to Anik. Eh? As for Anik, the amount of drawing is only 600 eh, compared to Amar. Okay, next we have interest on capital. Okay, based on the agreement, we do have interest on capital where the interest on capital is to be calculated based on opening capital at 10% per annum. Okay, we already have the balance here. This is the opening capital. Okay, balance, opening balance, eh, I've mentioned you. So, you are going to calculate for the interest on capital. Eh? So, you just time with 10% and you don't have to prorate because this is starting from 1st July 2004. So you are com using complete month. Eh? Therefore, you just have to times with 10% without prorate. Eh? So this is the answer. So in the end, what you do is that you calculate for the net profit before appropriation and you get a total of 
7,430. So don't forget, okay, we still have working to do. That is, we need to share the profit to the partners current. Remember, when you write the answer, please, this is very important. Don't forget to write this. Eh? This is the format that you have to follow closely. Okay, you have to write share or profit and transfer to a eh? partner's current, not partner's capital. Eh? So who are the partner? Amar and Anik. How to share the profit? Okay, based on the agreement, you are going to share it equally. So you take this value and times with half. Why half? Equally. So this is the final answer for the sharing of profit. We don't have any minimum granted profit for this question. So you can just straight away transfer this value to the current account later on. Eh? So this is the current uh, account. Okay, We are going to prepare for the next answer that is par uh, partner's current statement. So you have to pro prepare in columnar form. So Amar, Anik, this is what I mean, columnar form. We start with the balance. Balance brought down here refer to the opening balance. Where to get the balance? Go back to question. Okay, look for the balance of current statement. Here we are. So bring down the balance into the statement. 2,500 and 1,800. And then this uh, operation at is referring to what? Remember, this is referring to the credit side of the partner's current statement, whereas the operation for less represent for the debit side of the partner's current statement. Okay, so how to find this uh, figure? You can refer to the partner, uh, sorry, to the appropriation statement. So look up for the item, how much eh, you have to cross check. Eh? Interest on capital, 1,500. Okay, this one, 1,500. Okay, 1,200 for Ani. Okay, do we have anything else? We don't have any other else, okay, except for the profit. Okay, so my, uh, uh, add this one, eh? 3,715, 3,700. Eh? 15. Okay. Next, total up. Okay. And we will minus this item, drawing. Okay. How to find the drawing? You can get from the question. Okay. Remember the question. Right. So this is for Amar. This is for Anik. And minus the interest on drawing. This is taken from the appropriation statement up here. So at the end, find the balance carried down. How to find? Okay, minus eh, the total, the, 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 uh, the total here, you minus and you will get the closing balance for each of the partner. Why do we have closing balance? Because there is no retirement uh, of partner. Eh? All partner are still active because these are just the introductory level. Last but not least, Okay, we have partner's capital statement. So as usual, open in columnar form. Okay, bring down the balance. Eh? We start with the opening balance. How to find the opening balance? Back to the question. This is the opening balance, eh? 15,000 and 12,000 respectively. Okay, for capital statement, okay, since you are at introduction level, okay, since you are introduction level, so we don't have revaluation. We don't have uh, what we call goodwill. Okay, so we don't have these two because we are only at the introduction level. So at introduction level, uh, introduction level, we will just focus on the uh, increase or decrease in capital sahaja. Okay, so is there any increase of capital? Is there any partner contribute cash or assets into the business? No, but we do have uh, adjustment for Amar since Amar had withdrawn. What does it mean? The, the withdrawn, he took up. Eh, he withdraw. He keluarkan. Okay, his capital from the partnership. Okay, so he he withdrawn his capital from partnership amounted five thousand. So there is a reduction on Amar's side. Okay, therefore 
the capital has reduced to 10,000. As for Ani, the yeah. balance are still the same. Okay, so this yeah, is the closing I, yes, balance. Sorry? Uh, I have a question. Okay, yes. Let me know who's there. Uh, Fidaus. Okay, Fidaus. Uh, so, uh, kat soalan tu dia cakap Anik would advance 15,000 kan? Yang tu bukan additional capital eh? No, no. Advance here refer to what? Refer to financing. Ah, When we talk about financing, meaning you have a business eh? The business have an obligation to pay back to the borrower. Uh, sorry, to the, ah uh, yes, uh, the, to the lender. Huh? Because Anik is the one who lend the money. To who? To partnership. Okay, advance here menunjukkan dia memberi pendahuluan. So, pendahuluan meaning he helped the business to finance this project. So, in return, the business must pay back the advance. This is not a contribution of capital. Advance meaning you have an obligation to pay back. Yeah, understand? Freedom. You have an obligation to pay back to the lender. Okay, Is that clear? Uh, yes, madam. Okay. All right, good. Uh, okay, can I proceed to the next question? So far, this is the uh, the complete answer for Amar and Anik at introduction level. Can I move to the uh, changes in partnership class? Uh, okay, madam. Okay, good. Okay, so let us move to the next phase of partnership. Okay, that is changes. So changes, there are two uh, different times. It is uh, changes during the year and changes at the beginning of the year. So let us look at the most favorite one that is changes during the year. But somehow, uh, if the question did not mention whether the changes happen at the beginning or at the end, we still have way to find it. Eh? As I mentioned to you, first thing, you have to read the question. So what are the important information to extract? Number one, the phase of the question, eh? the phase of the partnership. Number two, we need to know the accounting period. Okay. And number three, we need to find the partnership agreement. This is the basic one. Eh? This is the basic one that we have to identify. So the question now, we already know the phase here refer to changes. Okay, and changes is happen during the year. Okay, the accounting period. Okay, so how to find the accounting period? Okay, one of the tips is you just have to go to the question and you can find the answer directly. Okay, here it stated that you have to prepare for the year ended 31st December 2015. Therefore, understood if it is ends on 31st December 2015, thus you will start from 1st January 2015. So this is your accounting period. Okay, partnership. Okay, since you have changes, class. Okay, please take note. Since you have changes, okay, the partnership agreement need to be split between pre and post. Uh, please take note. This is very important. Since changes happen during the year, you have to split the pre and post. So how to find the pre period and the post period? Okay, look the reason for changes and the timing. So based on the question, you can see that in the first additional information, it mentioned Harry retired. So when Harry retired shows that this is the, the, the factor that contribute to the changes. And he retired on 1st May 2015. So back to our uh timeline here first may 2015 is somewhere here right this is first may 2015 therefore you know that the changes happen 
due during the year. Eh? Sorry, during the year. The changes happen during the year. Therefore, you have to calculate for the pre-period. Pre-period is a period before the changes took place. 1st January until 1st May. So, January is counted. February is counted. Similar to March, April. Do we count for May plus? Do we count for May? No, because no. changes start on 1st May. Therefore, the pre-period is for months therefore you can find the rest of the post okay to recheck you start calculate from may may june july august september october november december so eight months okay at the end the total you should tie back to 12 months if you get 12 months then it's correct okay this is the correct period for pre and post therefore class you can start Okay, uh, preparing your appropriation statement, showing the period before and after hair retirement. What does it mean? Before meaning pre-period, after meaning post-period. Okay, so you can, uh, okay, this is the, this is the explanation, okay, between the pre and period and post-period. So this is what I am uh, focusing to. So you will start, okay, divide your appropriation statement to pre and post column. Eh? Unlike, unlike for Amarani, you don't have any pre and post, okay? This is just a plain direct answer because you are, okay, answering for introduction phase. So you don't have any pre and post, eh? Unlike for Heron, Harry and Tom, you have pre and post, eh? Because the changes happen during the year. Okay, so the starting point. Okay, we look at the question. We start with preparing a proportion statement. Eh? So the starting point will be net profit. Okay, so look up for the information on net profit. Okay, uh, here it stated that the net profit for the year 2015 before charging all these items is 90,000. Okay, please take note. Please be very careful. It seems that we have interest on loan here. Okay, so we need to find is there any loan given by partner or made from other third party? Okay, look up for the information. Up here, do we have? Okay, here. This one. The amount due to Harry. Who is Harry? Harry is our partner. But he is retired on 1st May. So what we do is that after he retired, he, his retirement, okay, we may have amount that due to him. So it is mentioned the amount due to Harry totaling 10,000 will be transferred to loan account. Okay, we already find the value of the loan. And it is mentioned that it will be charge at an interest of 9% per annum. Okay, why the question give the rate? Because Harry, okay, Harry is not a partner anymore. He is not a partner anymore. So, we cannot use 8%. That is why the question give us the rate directly okay compared to uh amar and anik in this question anik is still a partner he's still a partner so even though the partnership agreement did not mention of the interest on loan so we will use automatically section 26 which is eight percent okay that's the difference huh? All right, so uh, we have to adjust. What does it mean here? So meaning we have to adjust for the net profit for in for the interest on loan because this nine thousand is not yet charged. Uh, sorry, the the interest on loan is not yet charged in the net profit. So we have to adjust for the interest on loan 
So how to find the interest on loan? Okay, we will take, okay, the interest on loan. Okay, we will take the 9% times with 10,000 ringgit. Uh, do we need to prorate? Okay, since he retired on 1st May, okay, uh, we have to prorate for, uh, for eight months. Yeah, for eight months. Because this is when the loan started. Eh? The loan started on 1st May. So 1st May till December, you will take about eight months. Therefore, class, this is the working for you to find the interest on loan. Okay. I hope you know why eight months. Because the loan, this is where the loan started. Eh? The loan started. So up to 31st December, you need eight months to complete. Okay, once you have the adjusted profit, so you will have adjusted profit of 89,400, no longer 90,000. Then only, then only, okay, look here, very important. Then only you prorate to pre, okay, and you will get 29,800. And prorate to post. Okay. 59,600. Okay, you cannot do 90,000 times 4 over 12. Okay. And for post, 90,000 times 8 over 12. No, this is totally wrong. Why? Because you have to adjust for the interest on loan. Right. Okay. Next, we go for the uh, next item that is interest on drawing. Do we have drawing? Okay. Based on the information, we can see there is a drawing made by the partner. Okay. This is the uh, story about drawing. Eh? This is story about draw drawings. So who made drawing? All partner. Ron, Harry and Tom. Okay, we have two different time. Two different time here. One is on 1st February 2015 and another one is 1st October. So you have to calculate two uh, different time or not back to our agreement. Okay, we look at the agreement. We look agreement during pre. Okay, during pre, let us look agreement during pre. I use, let's say, I use blue color lah. Okay, agreement during pre, ada tak? Do you, sorry. Uh, I'm using highlighter. Okay, ada interest on drawing. Interest on drawing 6% per annum. Okay, ada. Yes, so masa pre ni, this is during pre kan, February. Okay, this one semua you akan darab. 6%. Okay. Ni waktu pre eh. How do I know waktu pre? Yelah kita punya post start bila? Post start ni. Ni post kita. This is post period kita eh. Okay so darab dengan 6%. Okay waktu post do you have interest on the way waktu post? Kita use uh, tadi we use blue color right? Okay we use green color. Post ada? Uh, yes. After Harry retired, we still have interest on drawing at the, but this time at 8%. So, berapa percent? 8%. So, this one you times with 8%. Okay. Right. So, nampak this is the working. Waktu pre, 6%. 6%. Oops. 6% eh. Ron, Harry, Tom. This, uh, during this time, Harry is still a partner eh. He's not retired yet. So this is the answer for pre. Okay, for post, for post, as for post, based on the question, post, Ron, we have another, another drawing. So Ron will have pre and post. This time still active, eh? This 5,000 still active. 
Okay, because Ron is still a partner and Tom is still a partner. So, during post period, it's not just charged for this, but plus the 5,000 taken from 1st February. Okay, this is the amount of drawing taken from the previous time. So, still be charged, eh? still be charged. Okay, similar to Tom, okay, not just this 5,000, but you have to also calculate the interest on the previous drawing. Eh? All right, so this is how you calculate for the interest on drawing for Ron, right? Okay, this is during the post, eh? Please take note, that's why I'm using green color. Okay, and 6,000. But 6,000, okay, you calculate for three months only. Why three months? Okay, because you are taking the drawing on 1st October. So 1st October to 31st December is about 3 months. Okay, 3 months. 10, 11, 12, eh? Okay, so sama juga for Tom. This one you calculate full for 8 months. Okay, because this is the previous drawing. And the latest drawing, 5,000, is for 3 months only. Okay, is there any question? Why this one we just, the, the, the latest drawing we take three months while the old one, eight months? Because the eight months is calculate from where? From May. May, we calculate from May. May until December, eight months. Okay, we finish on interest on drawing. Okay, find the amount correctly. Please put the amount in the correct column. Eh? If it's belong to pre, then you put pre. If it is belong to post, you put under post column. Okay, next is to find the interest on capital. Okay, look on the agreement. Do we have interest on capital during the pre? Yes, there will be. Um, uh, the interest on capital, do we have? The financial charge, interest on drawing, the current statement. Okay, there is no interest on drawing during the pre class. Okay, there is no interest on drawing during the pre. So we follow financial agreement. Okay, section 26. What does it mean? Interest on capital, section 26. It says that there is no interest on capital. Yeah, there is no interest on capital. Okay, what about during the post? During the post, do we have? Oh, yes, we have interest on capital. The interest on capital is allowed at the rate of 6% per annum and it is based on opening capital. So during post, we do have interest on capital. So as you can see, okay, there is no interest on capital zero. But during post, we have, but we only have for Ron and Tom. We don't have for Harry. Why? Because Harry is no longer a partner during the post. Okay, so 10,000 times 6% and times 8 over 12. Eh? So we start calculate from first May. At the end, okay, at the end, you have a net profit before appropriation during pre- 30,000, 97 ringgit, and during post, 59,660. So you will share the profit. Don't forget, as I mentioned to you, this is compulsory for you to write, share of profit, transfer to partners current. So we do one by one. We do the uh, pre first. So who has during time, uh, during uh, pre period, we have Ron, we have Harry and Tom. So how much is the profit sharing ratio during pre? Okay, look up here. During pre, it is agreed that they will share the profit and losses equally. Okay, so you will divide one third each. Eh? So this is the calculation. Okay, 30,097 times one over third. Okay, one third, one over three, eh? one third and one third. So this is the amounts round up lah. this is just uh, the different is due to round up lah. due to round up because you want to get this way anyway okay as for the post period okay post period we only have ron and 
Tom. Okay, Harry is no longer partner. So you take 59,660 and divide by the profit sharing ratio. How much is the profit sharing ratio? Okay, after Harry retired, they agreed that they will share profit and loss equally again. So half lah. Okay, you divide half. So um, 59,660 divided by half. Okay, so this is the amount of profit shared. Eh? Profit shared. Okay, you will transfer to where? You will transfer to the partner's current statement. Eh? So we will transfer this to partner's current statement. Okay, this one eh? partner's current statement. Okay, now let us prepare the next question. Is partners capital and partners current? Eh? Partners capital and partners current. Okay, partners capital open in columnar form. We have Ron, Harry and Tom. Okay, bring down the opening balance. Okay, this is the opening balance. And we have to... Record, this time we have goodwill. Why we have goodwill? Because you have changes. So when you have changes, automatically, these two items will also appear. Goodwill and revaluation. Okay. So goodwill, there are two and three. One is the old profit share ratio and the other one is the new profit share ratio. Now, is the question... Uh, do require us to prepare goodwill account. So let us look how to prepare the goodwill account. Okay, there are three met there are two methods actually in preparing the goodwill. Okay, one is what we call the accounting profit, and another one is super profit. But if these two is not given, then you will use ratio. So let us look uh, the method used in this question. Uh, additional information E. Eh? Okay, look here. Okay, the goodwill is already given. It's good to see this. You don't have to calculate by yourself. So the goodwill is already given. Uh, what you need to do is that you just have to uh, share uh, or allocate according to the old profit share ratio and new profit share ratio as follow. Eh? So this is your goodwill account. Okay, we already have 15,000 here, okay, this is the value of goodwill given, so times with the old profit sharing ratio first, all profit sharing ratio equally, eh? Ron, Harry and Tom, so you will debit the account, debit the goodwill account, okay, each partner will get 5,000 each, okay, so this is the amount to be debited, and don't forget, this amount will be transferred to where? We will transfer it to the partner's capital statement. Eh? Partner's capital statement. So partner's capital statement is to be recorded on the credit side. Okay, so credit. Okay, this one debit, right? So in partner's capital, we have to credit. Credit means what? Credit means add. Okay, remember? Add shows the credit side. Less here show the debit side. So you add. 5,000, 5,000, 5,000 each partner. And you close the goodwill account. Okay, will new profit share ratio. The new profit share ratio is only involved new partner, Ron and Harry. So Ron and Harry will get 7,500 each. And again, you will transfer to partner's capital. Eh? So go to partner's capital. Since this one you credit. So in partner's capital, you have to debit. Debit will be on the left side side then eh? so minus seven thousand five hundred okay we're done with goodwill next we have to prepare for the revaluation account okay revaluation account okay look for the information on revaluation as for the revaluation we have to revalue and we have to find the uh increase or decrease of the uh, asset revalue so this is the information uh, regarding the assets to be revalued. Okay, this is the net book value, eh? asset shown at net book value. 
Um, so what you need to find is you need to find the market value. So find the market value. Okay, look for the plant and machinery. Okay, 2000. This is market value. Uh, they, they said that plant machinery will be revalued at 35,000. But please very careful. We have some adjustment. He said that it was agreed that plant and machinery value 2000 will be taken over by Harry. So you have to minus first, minus 2000, and you will get 18,000. So now 18,000 is the net book value, the new one. And you compare with the market value, 35,000. Okay, you see, we will compare 18,000 and 35,000. So there is an increase by how much? Okay, calculate for me. Okay, you will have an increase of um, 17,000. Okay, so revaluation account, please open. Okay, there is an increase of 17,000. Yes, credit side shows the increase, debit side shows the decrease. Okay, we done with plan and machinery. Next, features and fitting. Uh, revalued at 1,000 and 5,900. Okay, so 4,000 here now become 1,000. Become 1,000. So there is a decrease by 3,000. Okay, decrease 3,000. Whereas last one, inventories from 7,000, it will become 5,900. Okay. So there is a decrease of 1,100. So in the end, you compare these two and you still have a balance of 12,900 on credit side. And this is what we call pro profit. Now you still have a, an amount greater than the amount that decrease. So who will get the revelation profit? Remember, only the, Sorry, only the old partner, eh? only the old partner will get the profit. So this amount will be transferred to where? Uh, partner's capital. Sorry. How do to large? Okay, we will transfer to partner's capital statement. Okay, since it's this debit, this one you should cre credit. So credit meaning? We will add eh? credit mini. We will add four thousand three hundred each partner. Okay, seems that we are almost uh, complete the this question. Okay, actually we are preparing for partners capital, but we already done these two answer. Okay, let's continue back to the partners capital. Okay, now we can complete uh, the partners capital as for on. Okay, we have entered all the information. So just find the balance carried down. So the balance carried down at the end is 11,800. Okay, wait for Harry first. Uh, we also can complete for Tom. So Tom, we will have 11,800. But for Harry, he cannot have balance. Eh? We should z have zero balance because Harry is retired already. Eh? He is retired, so he is no longer in partnership. So how to close his account? Please take note that Harry also has balance in the partner's current. So what you need to do, you have to complete partner's current first. Okay, it's very easy because you already prepare for the appropriation statement. So you can find this from the appropriation statement. Eh? Okay, you just transfer uh, this from the appropriation statement. Except for drawing, lah, you take from the question. Eh? So these amount are taken from the appropriation statement, okay? Okay, you just have to record it in the, sorry, in the partner's current, eh? You take this value directly from the partner's uh, appropriation statement. So now, focus on Harry. Since Harry is leaving the partnership, we will calculate amount due to him, eh? Amount due to him. So how to find the amount due to him? We total up these two. Okay. We will get 11,032. This is the amount due to him. 11,032 ringgit. But somehow, 
Okay, but somehow you have to adjust this because he has drawing 7,800, so minus, and he has interest on drawing 1,117, so minus these two first. Okay, so at the end, he has 3,115. Actually, he has 3,115 amount due to him. So what we need to do is that we will, okay, we will minus it and transfer to partner's capital statement. So in partner's capital statement, we will add this value, 3,000. 115 to make it this balance zero. Okay, we have to settle one by one. So we settle current statement first, find the amount due that is 3,115 and add to the partner's capital as follow. See, you add up. Okay, this is taken from partner's current, eh? you add. So the amount that due to him is will be settled here. So the amount due to Harry is how much? 22,400. 15. This is the amount that we need to pay to Harry, but somehow, based on the question, it is said that when Harry leave the partnership, okay, when Harry leave the partnership, uh, he will take, uh, he will take partners, uh, plan the machinery 2000. So just now we have 22,450 yen. So he will take plan So we minus, okay, we minus 2,000. What else? Um, and, okay, this one. Okay, we already find this amount just now. And the 10,000 out of the amount you will be treated as loan. So uh, number two, we minus 10,000. Okay, nampak? This is how we do. We minus 2,000, minus 10,000. So, at the end, we have a balance by how much? 10,415. So, this is the amount that due to him. So, how to settle this amount due to him? It is says that... Okay, please take note this one. The remaining balance is paid to Harry by cash. So we will pay him immediately the value. How much? 10,412. Is it 412? 15, sorry. And 15. So we will pay him. So as you can see, okay, we pay him. Okay. Uh, it's either cash or bank lah, depend. Eh? So that's why the answer should be zero. Okay, so that's how you settle for Harry. But if Harry is not retired, uh, let's say Harry a new partner, so this one cannot be zero lah. It should have balance. Okay, both eh, just recheck both account for Harry should have zero balance eh, in partners and eh, in uh, current uh, in partners capital and in the partners current statement. Okay, so that's uh, all about. Uh, Question changes during the year, Ron, Harry, and, and Tom. Okay, we'll stop recording now first.